What we're gonna do today is an energy audit or a home, a comprehensive home assessment for you. My name is Henry Rivers. I work with Drum River Consultants. We're renewable energy and efficiency professionals. We do energy auditing on buildings. What we try to do is identify areas where the homeowners can have substantial savings and reduce their energy usage. My name is Irene Stacy. I've lived here for 20 years. It's important for me to make sure there are no drafts, uh, you know, where my money's actually going out the window. <laughs> we're going to look at four areas in that. We're looking at the building envelope, we're looking at the lighting, we're looking at the heating system, and we're looking at the ventilation system. And we're going to measure the windows, the doors, the footprint of the home, the square footage, ceiling heights. We need to get the volume of the home. Once we have those items, we can figure out how much, what is the building airflow standard. We're going to depressurize the house. All right, we're going to pull air out, okay? We're going to do a blower door test, which will simulate air hitting, hitting the home or wind hitting the home and how much air will actually get into your home. We want to keep that down to a minimum, just to the point where you have enough to breathe and all of your combustible appliances have enough to operate. The red line is going directly to the fan. That's gonna tell us the, the fan pressure and then we're going to be able to read the house pressure. Why don't you walk with Junior? He's gonna show you where air is coming in the house. All right, what he's doing now, he's using his um, smoke wand. Still rolling? Yeah, that's air coming in. Yeah, and you want to know. This is going into the attic. We're gonna peek up there. We're gonna measure the wood joists that are going across. That will tell us the depth of it, and we're gonna see how much insulation is in there. We have some missing uh, areas where there isn't insulation. The attic could be insulated better and more. So we'll definitely make a note of that. We don't wanna heat the attic, all right? So we just wanna heat this floor and that floor. That's why we're gonna recommend air sealing up in the attic. Another hatch where you pull down on top to isolate, to separate the attic from your living space. This way, that's less area that you're heating, because last winter you heated that, okay? And you heated next door. I'm gonna take so down every appliance that she has in here, and this rain should is not vented to the outside. And I do that so I can match up her utility bills with all the appliances and to make star. sure that the kilowatts are, are equaling. She has a toaster. Doesn't seem like much, but every single appliance uses energy. She has all incandescent bulbs here. We count up all the light bulbs because that is a quick way for you to save money or conserve energy by changing them out from incandescents to compact fluorescents. You know what needs to be done? I'm gonna do a report for you. Okay. In that report, on the summary sheet, it's gonna show you exactly what improvements we say, what they cost, how much it's gonna conserve your energy and give you savings, and what we think are the best things. Definitely the windows, uh, this attic hatch, uh, some uh, insulation up in the attic, and separating your neighbor from you. I just w would like everyone to be more energy conscious, but think about conservation first. Everyone should get an energy audit. Find out where you are, that's your, that's your base load, that's your baseline, and then we can improve on there. Conservation, conserve, let's conserve the planet. Make a list of all the appliances that you use every day. Then, search online to see how much energy each one uses. Can you find ways to reduce the amount of energy that they use?